Hey, peeps. How you doing today? You doing good? I feel like my thing just going to fall down. The struggles today. <laughs> Trying to get this scarf on my head right. Well, I'm not even, I'm not. I just don't feel like I put it on right, but. Oh, Lord. It's just one of those days, y'all. So, you doing good? That's good. Me? I'm all right. I'm good, basically. You're not feeling good. This is a funny weather, I'm telling you, man. This weather is doing too much. I don't even understand. I don't understand, like... It'd be 40s, like, three days ago. Then it'd be nearly 80. Like, how? How are we getting a big old 40-degree gap up in there? I can see 40, 60. Then move up to 80, but 40 to 80 nearly. Huh. This is what they call pneumonia weather for real. This is, I thought really pneumonia weather was from the transition for summer to fall. But I ain't on pneumonia weather was a transition from spring to summer. Anyway, I'm not finna put up, I'm not finna spend a lot on this weather though. It ain't right. Okay, here we go. So, let's sit in that prayer up. Y'all ready to get our prayer on today? Praying for those that is not feeling good. Like, she ain't. I didn't even know she had did this, but she had French braids in my hair. I didn't know I had all French braids in my hair. Like, she, like, French braids. What she thought it was? I, I just thought you was braiding it. I ain't know all of them was, like, connected. Until I, I was uh, editing my video, and I think I hold my head down with some I did. And I was like, oh, it's all French braided? Like, that was real she done got better, y'all. Look at me experimenting with my hair. Y'all see? So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, don't mess up my scarf, man, because it took me a minute to position. I feel like it's moving, my scarf moving. Is it all right? It feel like something is off about it. Oh, that's what we doing? Yeah, that looks better. It was too far close to the front? That's what it was. Did you have a scoochie in? No, I had no scoochie in. I, I had a meal yesterday. Oh, now you're going to pull it back? That's what you, you want it back? It should go all the way to the back? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't We just gonna roll with it, y'all. We just gonna roll with it. Okay, let's get ready to get our prayer on. Heavenly Father, we come before you on this day. We pray for any and everybody that is not feeling good in their bodies, their mind, their spirit, and their soul. We pray that you come through and you heal them, you deliver them, you set them free from anything and everything that's keeping us bound in our hearts and in our minds. In Jesus' name. And Father, we also lifting up those that lost loved ones, Heavenly Father. We pray that you comfort their heart, you speak to their hearts, you encourage their hearts. In Jesus' name. And Lord, we also lifting up those that's in the hospital and we touching and agreeing with them for full and complete recovery and healing. In Jesus' name. By your stripes, Jesus, we are healed. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Great is he that is in us than he that is in this world. And the prayers of the righteous avail of much. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Mm, got her done. What? So, yeah, I got this lip gloss on. I kind of wear when I have this kind of shade, wearing this kind of shade, because that's, that's the only time I feel comfortable wearing when it's kind of some like, semi-match. But, um, uh, yeah, she ain't, it's a uh, color-changing lip gloss. Got it from her. Beauty supply store. Y'all, I want to take my nails off. I want to, I want to cure them now. But man, these still on the, these uh press-ons is 
on there good. I'm thinking it's going on a third week. And they feel like they could go a whole, like be on here a whole month. <sighs> I guess I soak them. So they could come on off because my nails is kind of growing past the uh, press on there. So yeah. Let's see what's going on in the world, y'all. Let's just check it out. I don't know if I'm gonna do an article, but I'm gonna give y'all some like some little titles. My glasses really need cleaning. I tried to clean them, but what else? Oh no, I feel like this is like sticking up. It's okay. The hubby out there, lawn mowing the grass. It was nearly as tall as our knees, my knees probably. Let's see. I got to get y'all the date. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, today is May 16th. Oh, it's the 16th already. At 12.02 in the p.m. It's afternoon time. And let's see what the weather is, y'all. The Take scarf this. don't match. My scarf don't match. It's going to match today when you get through. When you get through. Okay. It says 71 degrees, but the real field is 81. You see what I'm saying? 81, y'all. Real field. The day will be mostly cloudy. The temperatures will be mild and warmer than yesterday. We went out yesterday. We went to Hall Depot. The hubby, we had got some chairs to put on the back porch. I got the rocking chair. He just got the regular, like, lawn chair. But when he took it out the truck and put it on the porch, it was, like, cracked at the bottom. The rocking part was cracked. So we took it back and got me another one. And he kept the lawn chair. Now, he done sat in my rocking chair. He seen he want a rocking chair, which he should have got the rocking chair the first time. So, uh... He can't sit in my rocking chair, though. I just cleaned that chair out real good because they had him sitting outside in front of Home Depot. That chair was extra, extra dirty. He ain't cleaned this lawn, little lawn chair. Like, no, don't sit in my chair. So now he said he's going to take his lawn chair back and give him a rocking chair. Man, really? So, yeah, we did that. And I've been on a hunt for some taco seasoning, y'all. I don't know why. It's hard for me to find some taco seasoning. Like three or four different stores. Like what's really going on? Oh, the Cinco de Mayo thing, was it called? I don't know. I don't know nothing about none of that. Let me just be quiet. I don't know. I don't be keeping up with stuff. So today, well, tomorrow high. Oh, my God. Tomorrow high, Monday, um, going to be 67. Oh, it's supposed to rain. Tuesday, 67 rain. Wednesday, 82. You see how it's going to go from 67 to 82? Thursday, 83. Friday, 85. Saturday, 83. So basically, when we look like when we get past Monday and Tuesday, we're going to be in the 80s, nearly 90s. So why people getting sick? That's exactly why. Basement door. Basement door. Um, the humidity is 41%. Mm-hmm. And the sun rose at 5.30 this morning, and it's going to set at 8.04 in the p.m. Ain't that something? Now we now we pushing the 8.30 mark, y'all. But, I, I mean, you know, when it start getting nice, especially here in Chicago, we people be down, like, in nearly every day, but they really get crazy when it get nice. Like, it's crazy. It's not going to make me not want, you know, the nice weather and everything. But nice weather here, I don't know what it be doing to people moves and stuff. I mean, it make me feel good. But those that don't have nothing to do with their life and they be idled, they just become more destructive, more violent, and just going to and fro, you know? But anyways, that's that. Let's see. 
Let's look at smart news and see what's been happening here in the chat, y'all. Y'all won't know. I'm just sure it's death, 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 death. Well, people, I, I done seen people going on prom. So, yes, that's something. People graduating. Two people fatally shot and three injured at a party in Gresham among five dead and at least 15 wounded. Let's see what this time about. What? See. Oh, Chicago Tribune. Five people are dead, including two men who were attending a party on the south side, and at least 15 people were wounded in city shootings between 2 p.m. Friday and early Saturday. That's sad, Chicago police said. The latest fatal attack happened shortly after 4 a.m. Saturday in the West Garfield Park neighborhood. An unidentified male victim was found in the parking lot of a gas station with a gunshot wound to the chest. He was taken to Mount Sinai Hospital. That's why I hear all my kids at, at Mount Sinai Hospital Seth Rain. I hear all my all eight kids at Mount Sinai Hospital. It's Seth Rain. Wow, he was found shot at a gas station, y'all. Shortly after 3 a.m., 3 two men were fatally wounded and three others were shot at a gathering at the Gresham neighborhood in the 7800 block of South Loomis. People were at a large house party in their backyard when someone pulled out a handgun after an altercation and started firing, according to the police report. Wow, house parties and altercations. They go hand in hand. A 26-year-old man was shot in the head. 26? Y'all know I got one. Oh, no. One of my kids 26. Who's 26? Nobody ain't 26. Is anybody 26? Georgie 21. So two, two, three, two, four, five, six, two, seven. No. Ain't none of my kids 20. Carl get ready. Mm. Carl get ready to be 25, right? Yeah. A 26-year-old man was shot in the head when he was pronounced dead. How they get up, up close on people to shoot him in the head? But my, uh, my brother, that's how he get, he, he, they shot him in the head too, y'all. Over, um, and that was over nearly 18, almost 18, 18 years ago. A 25-year-old man suffered a wound to the shoulder. A 20 year, 21, now that's Georgie age, a 21-year-old man was shot in the head and was taken in critical condition to the University of Chicago. Another 21-year-old man suffered a wound to the shoulder. He's like the 26, 25, 23, 21, 21. Y'all see, see it, right? Y'all hear it. A 32-year-old man was fatally wounded in the Belmont Central neighborhood. 32. That's all. Brita, my oldest, is, well, she, she 34. Police officer heard several shots and saw an 18-year-old man running with a rifle. That's your age, Shan. When they placed him under arrest, they noticed he had two gunshots wound. To the back and one to the arm. Y'all, this is just so, 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 so sad. They discovered a 32 year old man on the ground with a gunshot wound to the head. He also was taken in critical condition to the same hospital where he was pronounced dead. And that's the second 32 year old. A 19-year-old man was fatally wounded shortly after 2.15 p.m. in the Gresham neighborhood, 7900 South Carolina. Initially, the man was taken in good condition with a gunshot wound to the back, but later was pronounced dead.
About 4.30 a.m. Saturday, a man between the age of 30 to 40 walked into Jackson Park Hospital with a wound to the upper right arm. He refused to give his name or any information. About 1.30, an 18-year-old man was at home with several friends in the 109th block of Wabash in Rose neighborhood where he was shot in the neck. Shortly after 12.30 a.m., an 18-year-old man was shot in Rogers Park in 1500 block of West Junkia Terrace. He was walking outside when someone in a great SUV fired shots in his direction. He was shot in the foot. Y'all see, this is between Friday and Saturday, y'all. 29-year-old, 22-year-old man. A 22-year-old man about 11.40 Friday night was driving in the 2500 block of West Polk when he heard shots and felt pain in the arm. Somebody just going around shooting people. This is so weird. Wow. Oh, shortly after 7 p.m. Friday, a two-year-old girl was shot while she was a passenger in a real seat traveling in a vehicle in the little village neighborhood. Wow. This is ridiculous. 13-year-old boy in critical condition. Yeah, but we're going to move right along from that. People better start praying over their kids. I can't stress it. Pray over your family. Pray over your kids. Because, see, you can't be with them 24-7, but God can. God, God said, I look low. But if you ain't sending that prayer up and getting this attention, pray over yours and see that blood covering your child. He fair game. She fair game. Our kids fair game, y'all. And you got 32-year-olds out here getting shot, too. You know, they... Really? What you doing? <laughs> really? What you doing? Should be working at Walmart or something. What? What you doing? Like, for real. Anyways... I've been hearing about the gas prices and everything and stuff, and people ain't having no gas. So far here in Chicago, we haven't had those type of issues. It, I don't think it went up like a lot either. So I thank God for that one, you know, but I don't even understand. How stuff getting hacked like that? What's really going on in our world, in our country, y'all? Man, this is the type of stuff when you read your Bible, especially the book of Revelation. It'll be having you like, what's really going on? The book of Revelations is deep. So, enough of all of that. Let's get on. Gotta feed our spiritual man on this Monday. My Sunday, y'all. Here we go. I'm gonna drink me some. I'm gonna make me a cold brew after this. Cause I still got stuff to do. I gotta dust. I gotta dust my room. I think that's what <laughs> y'all dusting is like. Y'all don't even understand. When I think dust, I go, I have like almost a, some type of a little semi anxiety attack. Something happens. Cause I'm like, oh my god, I gotta dust. Ah! I do not like dusting. I do it, but it's one of those things that I procrastinate when it comes to dusting. I'm going to just keep it real. I, I do. No, ain't no shame in my game. I don't like dusting. And it's hot. Well, last time we did some praying, y'all. So, let's read about it. Chapter 10, and my nose can ready to start running. There's too much going on. Like, all this shooting and stuff. My nose run. Like, seriously, nose. See, you're not fit to do that. That's what you're not fit to do. She ain't done came up in here and did something, putting my hair all the way back like that. Okay. And my glasses, real blurry. 
led to pray for your land. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Well, all it said 29 people, y'all. Y'all. 29 people. Let, let me show y'all. Chicago. Y'all see that? Right there. So this right on time. Led to pray for your land. I'm a fast. That, that's what been laying in my spirit. Yeah. Please don't think for a moment that you can skip this section. It is one of the most crucial to your happiness and well-being. Yes. A nation from whom God has lifted his hands of protection is horrifying. You don't want to experience it. We're experiencing it in Chicago. Praying for our country is the lowest priority of most people, except for those who have a vision of what will happen if we don't pray. There it is. I don't... I have that vision. And that's why I have put this subject near the top of the list of things to pray for. It must become a top priority for us all, all of us, all of us. Because it's going to be in every city, every town, every, uh. It ain't going to get better. It's covering, though. It's protection for you and yours. Your home, your family, your stuff, what God has blessed you with. This is true for our, any country, but especially in our own country now. The sin in our land invites God's judgment. Our land was founded on freedom to worship God, and now God has been taken out of everything. Let me repeat that. The sin in our land invite God, invites God's judgment. Whew, our land was founded on freedom to worship God. And now God has been taken out of everything. Schools, public buildings, even malls. God is mocked. Jesus is demeaned. And Christians are looked down upon by people who are puffed up with pride. Pride against God. Woo, she going there, ain't she, y'all? We... God's people are called to humble ourselves and pray. That's what he said. God spoke to Solomon saying, If my people, mm, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then, then, mm -hmm, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins. And heal their land. Ain't nobody praying. Ain't the we look, y'all know this world, the people in this world, the wickedness in high places is getting more wicked. The sin is getting more perverse. What's right looking like is wrong. And people pushing it. They're pushing this whole agenda to make what's good look bad. And what, what's bad look good. But God's people, we know better. We know what's right from wrong. We the ones got to stay in the end seat. Mm -hmm. As much as God will allow us. But he going to hold those people accountable for their actions. It's deep. It get deep. Who? You know, my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. He calling us out and praying, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. And that's in the Old Testament, um, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. We must memorize these powerful instructions from God until, until they are etched in our hearts. Mm -hmm. We are in a situation we are in now because people did not pray. And people don't pray. Yes, 
Many people have prayed, and thank God they did, or we will have not had the blessings we do today. But things will get much worse if the church does not wake up to the call of God to intercede for our nation. There it is. If you are praying for your country, you are being led by the Holy Spirit. Got her done. This is it. I don't know why these reads are starting to get so emotional, y'all. Man, they be hitting. Because this is, it's like they hitting for what's going on right now in the world. It's like God is really, he giving us, he like, here, these are the solutions to the problems. Not guns. I ain't going to get too deep. You know? But here it is. This is it. This is it. This is it. We got to pray fast. They pull the people pulling out the guns. We got to pull out the prayers. We got to pull them out and set them up. That's what's going to, that's what's going to get God attention. That's when he's going to start interceding. People need to pray over their families. For real, for real. Okay, let me, um, today y'all, I mean, no, no, no. May 16th, Sunday, and that was good. Pray for your land. Pray. We all live here. We all live. If you living in the United States of America, it's all our responsibility. Ain't nobody going to be untouched. Ain't nobody invisible. Nobody. We're a body. Okay, I'm going to do a read, a prayer from prayers that avail much. This book be, oh man, this is, whoa, I can't, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Here we go. To walk in sanctification. Y'all ready? Let's do this. Father, thank you for sanctifying me by the truth. Your word is truth. Jesus, you consecrated yourself for my sake. So I'll be truth consecrated in my mission. Mm. In the name of Jesus, I repent and turn from my wicked ways. Y'all see how they going hand in hand, co coinciding together. Repent. Turn from my our wicked ways, y'all. God is judging people. His judgment is falling upon the people. Woo! I wash myself. Make myself clean. I cease to do evil. I cease. Stop. I cease to do evil. And I am learning. Because these are burnt things. We have to, we have to, like, it ain't even like a relearn. Because some people never knew. You know? It's like we born in sin. So you have to unlearn things to, to, to learn new things. You know what I'm saying? So I am learning to do right. I am learning to exercise self-control. I am learning how to be kind. I am learning how to forgive others. I am learning. Dot, dot, dot. Father, you dwell in me. And walk with me. Amen. Ooh, we need him to be that. We need that type of relationship with our Heavenly Father. So I leave the corruption and compromise. I leave it for good. Ooh, you are my Father. And I will not link up with those who will pollute me. Because you want me all for yourself. Amen. I purify myself from everything that contaminates the body. Mm. Spirit, mm. perfecting holiness out of reverence for God. Father, I confess my sins. You are faithful and just to forgive me my sins. Ooh, been there. And to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Jesus has been made unto me wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, lifestyle, and redemption. I submit myself to you 
Lord, spirit, soul, and body. I strip myself of my all. Oh, mm, mm, mm. This is the prayer, man. For real, for real, for real. I strip myself of my old, unrenewed self and put on the new nature, changing whatever, whatever needs to be changed in my life. The desire of my heart is to be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, fitting for the master's use, and prepared for every good work. Thank you, Lord, that I eat the good of the land. Because you have given me a willing and obedient heart. Amen. Man, y'all. Oh. I just love it. Oh. I got her done, y'all. This was awesome. Oh. 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 You, I thank you, Lord, that I eat the good of the land because you have given me a willing and obedient heart. Obedience is key. And y'all know, y'all know disobedience is real. So I got her done. I loved it. I hope y'all love both of these reads because they was good. Man, ain't no better way to start our week off with, with this type of food. This is good food. This is strong food. Man, this is life-changing food right here we got today. Mmm. 5, 16, right? Sunday. So, y'all, we done talked about it. We done read about it. And we done prayed about it. Now it's time to bring it to an end. And again, I hope y'all enjoyed both of those. And it was good. That was some good eating right there. That's some good soul food right there. We got our spiritual man fed this day. So, this gonna be, this today is Sunday. This is my Monday video tomorrow. So I hope everybody have a blessed Monday, a safe Monday, a productive Monday. Get her done. And protect the Monday and Tuesday. And I hope I see y'all back at the table on Wednesday. Well, I will see y'all back at the table on Wednesday. And on that note, I'm out. Peace and love. Share some. And what? I holla. Bye, y'all. Oh, 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 oh. I've never seen